Okay, well, we're at the, uh, near the Conrail drain in the Thundering Waters Forest. And you hear all around you a wonderful explosion of calls of the western chorus frog, which gives you a sense of the ecological significance of the area. Now, what is a new discovery is that there is a forest in this part of the area. It wasn't designated when the Niagara region made their uh, list of significant forests over 10 years ago, but the forest is growing that I think it would make that test now. Now this is exactly the opposite of what GR Canada's consultants are saying. They're saying that the forest is shrinking because of ash die -off. We don't see any evidence of dead ash here. The forest is expanding rather than getting smaller. We hear a frog that is different. That sort of groaning call. That is the wood frog. Did everyone hear that distinctive sound? Uh, the wood frog frog is seriously declining because it is a frog that is a more southerly frog where the wood frog will live on Hudson Bay and that's the most widely distributed frog in Ontario. Because instead of seeing buckthorn invading this forest, what is really invading it is a native species of pussy willow. <laughs> so you see you come here and you see easily identifiable species like this. It has an impact in countering the uh, erroneous claims of the developer. Also, you see uh, that's a very uh, familiar uh, sumac. You don't see buckthorn. Also, there's pin oak over there. And again, this area here is not yet recognized as a significant forest. Significant forest is in fact expanding and, and growing rather than dying back from ash mortality. Now we will need the GPS soon when we could come to see the end of the river front. I think in this area we've reached the northerly extent of the proposed riverfront development. Now this will give you some of the ecological impact because you see from that white pine tree north is the, all, all the forest from that tree south will be mowed down essentially. So you'll have a gash in the forest. And the very thing that Savanta GR Canada is talking about claiming that you don't see any buckthorn here that will encourage the invasion of the very buckthorn that they're trying to excuse to destroy the forest because when you clear land the buckthorn will start coming in at the edge of the forest and other harmful species like Phragmite and the effect in reality will be completely different than the misleading statements being made by uh, 
GR Canada's uh, 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 planners and ecological consult. Also, you hear the wonderful western chorus frog all around you. This is a area of great ecological sensitivity that's, you know, inadequately rather than excessively mapped in the existing planning document. We want to see if this is in truth, like they claim it is, a dying forest of dead ash trees with buckthorn taking over. Well, now we're in what is defined legally as a regionally significant forest, provincially significant, in the proposed riverfront development. Now, uh, the tree I'm standing next to is a pin oak tree. And the presence of this tree and the oak leaf litter, this is a pin oak leaf, that's one of the reasons this is being studied as a possible bat roosting colony in June. Now what is really outrageous, they're going ahead with this public meeting before these studies are done. And one of the uh, reasons it's considered a probable area is there's an oak leaf litter on the ground and there's oak trees, maple trees, and hickory trees. Ash trees were not the reason. You know, I don't see any dead ash in here. I see a lot of healthy trees. This is what Savanta is claiming in their EIS. Says he, this, we have to destroy this forest for development to uh, get rid of all the buckthorn which could spread to other forests. There's a lot of baloney. Uh, here we're in the middle of wetland number one, which was in November downrated by Ministry of Natural Resources and Forestry at the request of GR Canada and Savanta Consultants. The reason that this was claimed not to be a wetland was that the presence of a concrete, which you see behind, was used as an example to claim that there was artificial creation in this wetland. We hear the singing frogs all around us. This has wetland functions. You have the red osier dogwood and here you have the pin oak uh, coming in and turning this into a characteristic pin oak lined vernal pool would be a real tragedy if this down rating was to persist and the result would you see this beautiful wetland with singing frogs would become a high-rise condominium as part of the riverfront development. Oh, good, Merton. Found it. <laughs> 